Tri-State College is on the forefront of a nationwide study on concussions, and the data being gathered at Wilmington College is going to be used to keep anyone who plays sports safe. Well, nine on your side, Tom McKee went to the college to see how the faculty and the students are working together now on the largest study of its kind. There was a time when an athlete who had his or her bell rung would be put right back in the game, no questions asked. But those days are gone because of concussions. Now Wilmington College is part of a major new study by the NCAA to determine what changes should be made to sports to keep people safer. Linebacker David Henry clearly recalls that Saturday afternoon last fall when he got a mild concussion. As soon as I dove to make the tackle, I hit my head pretty hard on the turf, um, got up, the play was real hazy afterwards. I was. Really confused. Henry was pulled from the game and underwent a rigorous protocol. They were real cautious about how my head was functioning, how I was thinking, um, just making sure I felt better every day. That experience will be part of the concussion study. I asked athletic director Terry Rupert why Division Three Wilmington College is involved with dozens of bigger schools. One reason is 45% of the 1,100 students play sports. We reflect a Division Three plus. Our history of athletic training education here, which has been a, a great part of what we do. And there's a new Center for Sports Sciences with multiple medical disciplines under one roof. The only thing we probably know about concussions is, we, is that we don't know enough about concussions. Head athletic trainer Brian Dykhausen will oversee data collection and try to find out answers to things like why women get more concussions than men. For example, women's soccer has a higher rate of concussion than men's soccer. Men's, women's basketball has a higher rate of concussion than men's basketball. Dr. Timothy Kremchek of Beacon Orthopedics in sports medicine says the study is 10 years overdue and could produce important results. We have got to get the right answers. We have got to explore this further for, just for the safety of society and our kids. Data is going to be collected here at Wilmington College over the next year and then combined with that of 29 other schools to determine if there are changes that need to be made in the concussion protocol or in sports rules themselves. Tom McKean, not on your side, Wilmington College.